And good morning, everyone. It is currently 5.45 in the morning. The guys are showing up in a little over half an hour here to help me continue as we're moving on to day six of siding and insulation. It's been a bit of a grind, and you guys will notice through this video that I did not do a very good job of filming this portion just because it was so much more work than I expected. I guess I didn't account for how time consuming the insulation would be as well as since I have extended eaves on this building every single one of those purlins and these eave extension beams on the back had to get notched obviously I got a bunch of windows and doors that had to get cut out and, and when I get that busy with a project like this I get really bad at filming it I honestly even forget to eat half the time so thank god I got Haley here to keep me fed I have been good though of at least taking my AG1 every day. And I know I've told you guys about AG1 in the past, but I'm gonna tell you about them again because they were kind enough to sponsor this video. For those of you who don't know what AG1 is, it's a daily green powder that's packed with over 75 different minerals, vitamins, adaptogens, and prebiotics. Think of it like a fuel additive you would put in a high performance machine to make sure that it's running right only for your body. I found that it can be really difficult to maintain a good, well-balanced diet when you're really busy. And so that's where AG1 comes in. They make sure that you're getting all the minerals and, and supplements that your body needs to be happy all in one bottle. It's a super easy daily routine. I start every single day with it. It tastes great and honestly, I can feel the benefits of it. I'm telling you, I'm feeling better sustained energy, especially on these long, hot days of work and better mental clarity for when we're trying to cut things that there's no chance to cut twice. AG1 uses all whole food sourced ingredients. It's all non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, everything you could think of. It, you'd be hard pressed to find a greens powder that is more inclusive and that uses better ingredients. So to get started with AG1, go to drinkag1.com slash Trent Palmer. That's gonna get you a free one year supply of vitamin D3 and K2, as well as five free travel packs. Thank you again, AG1, for sponsoring this video. Now let's go through this headache that has been the last week of my life. Since I didn't do a very good job of documenting any of this, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what we did. And basically, this corner is where we started. This is the southeast corner of the building, and I wanted to do the back wall first for two reasons. One, it's the, the flat wall, so there isn't any like pitch to the roof, which should have made it easier in theory, although we had a lot of framed openings with the windows. But the second reason is that it's on the back wall, so if we were gonna you know, learn the hard way on anything, I figured it'd be better for any small mistakes to be on the back side. So we started at this back corner and the way that all this siding works is that there's an overlap to it, which I'll show you right now. And basically, since we started on the east wall, we were able to roll east to west, which leaves the overlap facing the east, which works out really well because prevailing winds are from the west here. So if we were to have a torrential downpour of rain and heavy winds, it's definitely not gonna be able to work its way under these panels since 
they're facing away from the prevailing winds. So yeah, this first wall, I think day one, we got barely past this first window. So it was extremely slow moving. I honestly thought we'd be able to get like two walls done in a day. And I don't know, even to now, I, I can't tell you what it was that's been taking us so long. It's kind of like we're playing this leapfrog thing that will roll down a piece of insulation and everyone doing the siding stuff has to wait on the insulation. And there's a lot of little like finish work and you know stapling and rolling the different uh, rolls of insulation together before we can sheet it. And then the insulation guys kind of sit there and wait while the sheeting guys are dealing with their thing. And the reason we didn't just put all the insulation out and then start sheeting is because it's been windy every single day. We've been looking at 15 to 25 mile an hour winds and it's been hot. We've been in this like heat warning, heat wave, which has been kind of brutal, which is why we're starting every day at six or 6.30 in the morning so we can get in, you know, a good five, six hours before the wind picks up. But anyway, it took us two days to get through the back wall of the building. I still have some trim to put on these windows as well as up at the eave extension beams. But then we worked on the west wall, which is the wall closest to the house. Again, I, I figured my lap on this one less based on the wind, but more based on the, the visual appearance of it. And even though if you, I don't know if you can tell, looking down this wall, it looks pretty clean. Even where these seams are like right here, it's not that noticeable, but from the other side, it looks a lot better. So that was the reason that we laid it out that way as far as the overlap running to the south is so that when you're at the front edge of the building, everything looks clean. And then from there, we worked our way over to the east side of the building, which was essentially the exact same as the west side. And then we got to the point yesterday where it was time to start sheeting the front wall. And this is where we ran into a little bit of a speed bump and the reason is there was a little bit of a confusion. Now I'm, I'm, I chose to insulate this entire building. I didn't do the craziest insulation on the inside. Basically I did the, it's like a four inch batting that gets sandwiched between the wall girts and the siding. And basically I think that makes like an R19. Now r &M Steel sent me enough insulation to do the hangar door, but the hangar door package I got from Diamond Doors has an even better insulation package, but it requires a different trim that's supposed to be provided by the building company. So basically there was just a, a little miscommunication or, or something was missed somewhere along the line and I got the wrong trim to be able to use the good insulation on the hangar door. So I'm currently frantically trying to figure out a good option that won't leave me dead in the water for weeks because that telehandler back there needs to go back ASAP and I need that to get roof sheets onto the roof, but I can't sheet the roof until all the walls are done. And I don't want to jump over and sheet above this garage door here because I want to make sure that all the panels line up perfectly. Basically the roof panels, the high rib wants to match or should match the high rib on the siding. And since we know the layout goes from east to west on the back wall, it's gonna do the same on the front wall as well as the roof. I really want to be able to work my way from east to west on this front wall without skipping any sections. So I'm in a little bit of a predicament of what I'm gonna to do today while I'm trying to sort out this uh, trim issue. I think the plan is I'm gonna start putting the strapping for the roof system. The roof system, I'm doing this energy saver insulation package, which is thicker. It's like an R32. Um, that requires a whole bunch of bands or straps to get strung across the roof in both directions. So that's probably a good thing that I can start on today and then see who can get me some trim, hopefully quickly, so I can uh, close this thing in and throw a roof on it. So anyway, guys, that is currently where we stand on the hangar build. I wish it was completely sheeted and sided and crap, I wish the roof was on it, but that's just not the case and I wanted to at least take the time to update you guys. So that is where we stand. Hopefully in the next video, I will have the hangar door and the whole front side done and maybe even the roof going on. So make sure you stay tuned. It is coming together really nicely. I'm super ex excited to get this thing finished up and get the plane out here. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one out here. You guys know the drill. Like this video if you do, subscribe. If you haven't, come be my wingman. See you in the next one, peace.